Hello, in this programming video, I am going to show you short, long, and long, long in C. So let me just clear the console. Also, I highly recommend that you watch the integer video, the int video, which I, you know, made before this one, because we're going to be moving on from them. I'm not really going to be talking about integers as much in, in in as much detail as I did in that video. So make sure you've done integers and we're gonna be using the code from there. Okay, and oh, I noticed just now, no return zeros. That's, I don't know why. It needs to be a return zero. My bad. Okay, so if you know that you don't need to you know, have a large number, you never will, in a particular variable, you can do something that is called a short. And a short is a short integer. And essentially, that I'll show you the min and max values that each short can have. I'll comment these out as well. And to get the short is SHRT, SHRT. And for the percentile, we can leave that as is because percent i is enough to cover a regular integer and a short as well because short will only be two bytes an integer generally speaking it can depend on your compiler but generally speaking will be four bytes and a short will generally be speaking be two bytes so if i give that a run see what we get that's mm. ah, running a lot time okay so an int min is this, int max is this, so it's 2 billion roughly, min, max is 2 billion, so it's a range of just over 4 billion, and a short is a minimum of 32,000, and a short max is 32,000 something, as you can see the numbers here. So in total, the range is 65,535. I know that one out by heart. Actually, no, 65,536, because you've got to include zero, so that was my bad. So as you can see, it's a lot smaller. I mean, there's really not much more to it than that. If you want a longer data type, a bigger data type than an integer, you can do something called a long. But what's interesting in a long is, depending on the compiler, uh, for some reason, this compiler has it set to the exact same that a integer is. To print it out, you put li, so it's a long int. And so this is not going to change, but this could change. That's the thing. It is currently four bytes and can be as much as eight bytes, which would be a lot larger the number would be. So if I was to save and run this, I think it's the exact same as an integer. Like I said, it can vary depending on your compiler. The final one I want to show you is a long long so this is a long long integer and i think you can guess this is just a very long one and it, it's eight bytes in my compiler it can be as much as 16 bytes to print it out it's lli lli and to get the min and max is l long and then l long there save it i'm gonna increase this so run it and there we go you can see that's a lot bigger. I'm not even going to attempt to try and say these numbers. So if you really want to store huge numbers, there you go. So like if you're dealing with huge amounts of money, long, long will probably cover it. But you can get mass libraries that are to go even beyond that if you really need to. Most of the time you won't. You'll get people that are first doing programming that are asked, but why if you need a really long number? And I've been asked that before. And my question always is, give me a scenario. And I mean, to this day, I don't think I've had a scenario, somebody being able to bring a one, an amateur programmer, I don't mean that in a bad way, I just mean that in a you know, factual way, that a long, long wall wasn't able to cover. Okay, so there is that. And okay, so we've covered that. How do you actually create short, long, and long, long variables? Can we not have to do an int? It's effectively the same. So if I get rid of, I'll get rid of this. And I'll call int i, and I'll just assign the value 5 to it. I will also get rid of this. And I'll get rid of this for now as well. To create a short, you do short. And I'm going to call it f1 equals 5. And you can also call it a short int. 
S1, S2 equals 5. They are effectively the same thing. I prefer using short int just because I can see, ah, it's a short integer. I know that's my personal preference. That's totally up to you. To do a long, I think you can guess it's essentially the same. You just do long or long int. And I'm going to name this to L1 and L2. And if we want to do long long it's the same thing long long or a long long int and i'll put l l and l l and remember to print it out to print out an integer you put print f center you put backslash and the new line character just for formatting and put i that's it and to do a short, we can just do percent i, that's fine. And this will be s1. We could do s2, it doesn't really matter. And this will be l1, l l1. And remember, for this, we do l, so that's a long integer. This is a long, long integer. And if I give that a run, there we go. So that's really it. There's not much more to it than that. One last thing I want to cover is we know the maximum of, you know, like these values. So the max for a short is that. And what would happen if we put it as, so, so if we did that, for example, as we know. I won't do it there because we're not actually use, printing that one out. We're printing this one out. So if we put it here and we'll, we'll do 8. Let's give that a run. And we get negative 32,768. It's what's called an overflow error. I explained it in more detail in the integer video. So feel free to check that out. But that's basically what it is. It's gone out, it's gone out of bounds and it's essentially come back to the minimum value, which in this case is negative 32,768. If you was two over, it will be negative 32,767. You'll just slowly start ticking up one by one. So that's it. That's integers, short, long, and long, long integers covered. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group, over 4,000 members, a bunch of programming channels. If you want the source code, there's a link in the description to the GitHub page. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.